to this and do that. Avoid flies, people. Them very dangerous. And flies, them them no business. Them in a space and them in a. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl alisa shay lucid welcome back my lucid hombres and if you are new here welcome 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 today i'll be doing a health tip for you guys today's video will be all about staying safe tips that you can use to avoid catching the coronavirus that is so viral leaving all the way from china exploring the world like dora the explorer so I'll be sharing you some tips on what I do for myself to prevent getting the virus and some tips that I follow or things that I do when I'm at work because things that you do at your house is going to be different from what you do at work. So yeah guys, I'll be going through that procedure and also share a little, little bit of information that I've gathered on the internet. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first things first, the number one rule of avoiding to catch the coronavirus is stay away from people. Stay away from people, 10 feet away from them. Avoid social gatherings. So like the parties when I like go, go boogie and fling up on the backside and do this and do that. All of that cut out until corona season finish. Yeah. Avoid social gathering, dances, whether for, um, meetings, community meetings, and I don't know if it's about on a church because God is the number one thing. So, I don't know. Who feel like say that I forgot church, I forgot church. I have nothing to comment on that because you can go to church and stay like 10 feet away from persons, but party is not a thing where you can. Scratch that for now. If you want to go to church, you're going to church because God is the only hold on to in these times. So, yeah. Alright. So, rule number two now is to avoid fast food places. Even if you want to say you're going to the drive through and you have to stand up in a line, do not go to fast food places. And for all I think, fast food places should have been closed down. Yeah, some people and all of the girls who cannot cook, we are going to learn today. You don't go on YouTube, go find some cooking channel and learn to cook. Avoid cooking places. Learn to cook on the yard. Yeah, if you can't cook rice and peas, cook mackerel and, and, and white rice. If you can't cook chicken or fry, fry like a dumpling, fry one mackerel. Mackerel is the easiest thing, you just warm it up, take out the bone, throw a little salt in it, little black pepper. And, yeah, or you can go fry two eggs or do one pancake. Cook food on a canvas at all if you cannot cook. But yeah, avoid restaurants. Number three, to prevent catching the coronavirus, sanitize. Sanitize your yard and work. And if you cannot find sanitizers, if you cannot find the, the sanitizers that you normally have in the supermarket, see your sanitizer here. Jerry and nephew, oh, um, Jerry and nephew overproof rum. This is your sanitizer right here. See that? Jerry and nephew overproof rum. So you can get a dispenser bottle like what I have here. See here? Dispenser bottle. Pour some of the alcohol in there. And you want to check the contents of the alcohol because they said that it's supposed to be 60% or higher to kill the, the um, virus. And you can get some rubbing alcohol and even throw it to the room. You can get some rubbing alcohol and add it to the room. Uh, and look at water. So I'm going to have my water right now. Or you can even just use the alcohol alone, or you can use the rum and water alone, but me add the alcohol, and you can spray up your hand. See there, me spray up the bottle too, because if my hand's dirty, and me just grab the bottle, and spray up my hand, so me sanitize the, my hands, and the bottle remains dirty, it's contaminated, and you go touch the bottle, and then it's a whole process again. So, whenever you're sanitizing your hands and they're dirty, be sure to sanitize the bottle as well, because, yeah. So, the 
that's rule number three. You can create your own sanitizer. Sanitize right throughout the day. And just wash your hands as much as possible. So, can you use your white rum? Any type of rum? As long as the, 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 the strength of the rum is 60% or higher. Yeah. And get your dispenser buckle. See it there? We have two women walk with a daytime. One for my pocket and one for wherever station I am at. This is for when I'm walking around my station. Yes. Alright, so that's rule number three. Rule number three is sanitize. And you can create your own sanitizer. Rule number four to prevent catching the coronavirus. Yeah? Stop wearing masks. The masks are only for persons who are sneezing, coughing, or whatever else they might let out of their mouth. If you do not have the coronavirus and you're walking around with a mask on your face, remember that the virus is something that affects your lungs, right? And if you have the virus, you're going to find that you're start, you're becoming short of breath. And if you are walk around with mask, and you know that a mask is not a ventilation type of thing where you go, it's not a ventilation thing like when you don't have on the mask or you breathe normal. When you have the mask on your face, it slows down your, your, your breathing process. So if you contract the virus, you're not going to know that you have it, right? It's like when you go to the doctor and you feel a pain and then uh, you that take a pill before you got it. The doctor will say you shouldn't have taken the pill because you're masking off the you're masking off the pain and they cannot con cannot find where the pain is coming from if you take a pill to mask it off. So that is the same thing with wearing a mask on your face. You are masking off the symptoms that show that you are a COVID-19 patient. Yes, yeah, so stop wearing masks, please. If you are coughing or sneezing, fine. You're weird. But you get up every day up on the mask. If you have the virus, are you going to? Hmm? Rule number five. This is one of the most effective rules. Take your vitamins. I see posts going around where people are clear off all of the, uh, the, all of the shelf of tissue and soap and you're not taking up any vitamins. You need vitamins to build your immune system to fight off the virus. So if you come in contact with it, your immune system would have already been built up to fight it off. Take your vitamins. Rule number six, eat your fruits. Get your orange, your pine, your grape, your melon, your mango, whatever you can find, your apple. Eat your fruits. Eat your vegetables. Yeah? Build your immune system. Get your, um, what them call them? You have gummy bear, gummy bear vitamins because a lot of grown people don't like take pill, but yeah, bite your tongue and take the vitamin. Build your immune system. I don't know if I said this already, but this shouldn't even come because you first and foremost should have known that you should be washing your hands often as possible. If you touch a doorknob and you never sanitize it, wash your hands as you go. Especially if you are at work. And if you are wash your hands right around the clock. Them say that you can wash your hands every 30 minutes, but me, it's like every 5 minutes as I come into contact with something, I wash my hands. Are persons wearing gloves now? Gloves is a substitute, yes, for in cases where you don't want to touch a pen and um, you don't want to touch a doorknob and um, yeah. But is it a case where if you're going home and you you go touch your grill and you go touch your door with the same gloves, you you contaminate your house, right? So is it that you only wear the gloves that when you're at work? And then you take them off when you go bathroom and then you dispose of it and you get a different gloves because listen, people, if you're wearing the gloves. Right? And you're at work and then you take it off. Just like how someone will do the mask. You have a mask on all day, all 12 hours. So you go on the yard and put it down and put it back on. And then your, your fingers, did already touch the part of it that was, you know, whatever. If you still go up in people's face and they contaminate the, the mask. Although they said that the virus dies within two days on surfaces. So, I don't know how no life set up if you don't go around every day or whatever, whatever. But if you wear these things like mask and gloves, you need to... Discard of them as the day finish. You cannot be wearing them today, tomorrow, and the day after that, right? So if you have gloves as a substitute, you need to be disposing of them as you use them. And me here say, if people are in the, in the public hospital, we work there, or people sit in the hospital for different purposes, like them sick, a thief out the mask, them out of the rubbish bin, and I sell them back to people. So is it a case that when you do that, you sanitize it and then you sell it back to people or you just sell them back the dirty mask with the doctor them use when they go see the patients? Now tell me, that is what you do or you just sell them back the dirty thing? Maybe we come with us lose count right now because there are so many things that you need to be doing. I think I'm at number seven now. 
A 10 tips me I give you are just 6, 7. Number 7 tip is me. Overall, I think we should just avoid outside. Because I feel like this virus is airborne. And me hear a doctor say it and I'll soon attach a clip up here so that you can see it. I feel like this virus is airborne because I'll fly. I don't know where to begin. Fly is one of the things that brings around virus. And you know, so, um insects are what cause plants to be to get pollinated like all of that and they move pollen from here so care about your son, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Go read up back your grade six book for understand what I'm talking about. So when I fly, go your son touch a COVID-19 person and then come back over your son, come touch you and then they fly up in your face and do this and do that. Avoid flies, people. Them very dangerous. And flies, them, them no business. Them in your space and them in your... So yeah, you can't have a, one of them mosquitoes swab something there. See there? If you like a boy, because I don't see there. I don't really use it. But you can't walk around with one of them zapper here for avoid flies. Me really scared of them. Because I don't know where they go, go touch what and I come around me. Yeah. Rain. I feel like all of these natural things like air and rain. Because even the doctor was saying like it might be airborne. Like if you're not a group of persons in a circle or whatever. Avoid rain. Avoid rain and, and breeze. I mean, I don't know how oh, we're going to do all of these things. Unless you don't know. Sometimes what I do when I'm walking around and me wet up. Me just go so with me spray. Someone who like wanna have a makeup thing, wanna spray up on her face. How do you call it? I'm not a makeup person, you know. Oh, setting spray. I know so. Setting on the alcohol and a rum, set it in on her face because you know so that is the three ways that you can catch it. So your mouth, your nose, your eyes, droplets of whatever entering into it. those are the places that they can enter or your, your hands or whatever, whatever. So use your, your, your sanitizer as a setting spray. Don't put too much in your face. Go catch up cool and make it more easier for you to get the virus. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to give you some guy, guys some tips and things that you can do that you must do on a daily basis at work before me even get to your yard. Work. You walk with your local walking buckle and your work is supposed to even look on you and get some things to sanitize with. So your walking buckle now is for your own purpose. You go into your office, you spray up your doorknob. Before you even go in there, you touch the gate, spray up your hand. Spray up the doorknob, inside and outside doorknob, the bathroom doorknob, that's when you are using it, right? And um, you can, all things that you come into contact with, if you have books, if you have pens, if you have um, sharpeners or whatever, your table, you're going to set your hand down and you sanitize it. Yeah. Um... Me, I'm very clean, clingy. Yeah? Sanitize as you go. Wash your hands as you go. That's for work. Everything that you come into contact with, you sanitize it first. Or sometimes if you follow that, like, you're going to do a sanitizer. So what you can do? Sanitize your hand after everything that you touch. And if it's a it's an area where you're going to be for a long period of time, you sanitize it as well as you sanitize your hands and wash your hands often. At home now, same procedure goes because after you leave work, you are a contaminated person. Even though you go wash your hands, it's going to take some time for you to reach home. Do your doorknobs upside down, your grill, your gate, whatever. I don't know if it's a case where you're getting corona, COVID-19 through pets. There, that has not been confirmed as yet. But, yes, people. And, like, if you go to the supermarket and you go buy a tin of this and a tin of that, you sanitize it the same way. If you take a, a, a pound of flour, spray the bag. <laughs> I don't know if the flour might get tough or um, whatever, but wipe it down. Where you, can't, where you can't just put the beer water on the thing, wipe it down. So everything you come into contact with the day yard. We give you some things you can do here if you have nothing to do. If you have Wi-Fi, you can go on Netflix. If you have Netflix, you can go for Movie Box Pro. The quality is not so 100, but it's better than nothing. You can go for YouTube, you can watch my video them. Yeah. You can also go back to your childhood days, right? Go play a draft, go play a cat park. If you want to gamble for your money, if you keep it entertained. But why you go gamble? If you have family members where you, where you, know you live with or whatever, you can play with them. And um, play a domino. You can play Ludi. Did I say Ludi yet? Draft. Um, board games. Other things. You must have some nice board games on the yard. Go play Dalios. <laughs> Boy. Yeah. 
so guys we just have to try to stay in as much as possible if you are not an essential worker like police and soldier and doctors stay at home you know jamaica wait pan for us lock down everything officially but if you have to go to work you have to go to work because you need to feed the family and you need to feed yourself and you need to stay safe at the same time so guys just avoid public places most of all and try to stay safe and i hope these tips did help you and that you will follow them every day and to be honest sometimes the word at what this virus is going on me feel like me know discouraging with all of this me feel like sometimes no matter how we try if we just to catch it we just to catch it so build your immune system first and foremost because i don't feel like even if you, you know decide that somebody catch it but have your mother go catch the virus so just build your immune system because any number can play like cash pot and try to stay safe yeah guys give me a thumbs up for this video if my tips did help you and open your mind a little wider to the virus if you weren't really understanding what it's all about and comment down below which one of these tips you'll be following so yeah guys thank you for watching the video and don't forget to like share subscribe and hit that notification bell button so that you can know every time i drop a video i remember you can get your white overproof rum to make your sanitizer you can use the alcohol with it or you can just use water but make sure that you do not dilute it too much because it needs to be 60 percent or more to fight the germs or bacteria or whatever bye my lucid umbrella Baby. <laughs>COVID-19 is spread via human-to-human -human contact from infected surfaces, but the new coronavirus can be spread through respiratory droplets. These droplets are liquids that can be emitted when we cough or sneeze. These droplets are heavier than air and travel about one meter, then rest on whatever surface they land on. The droplets can infect another person when they enter the body through the mouth, nose or eyes. This is why it's very important to avoid close contact with someone who has a fever, cough or other respiratory symptoms that you suspect or know may have coronavirus COVID-19. This means any contact of less than two meters between you and a sick person or someone you suspect of having the infection. Contact includes hugging, kissing or shaking hands. Always avoid touching your face even when you're using a mask. If you're caring for somebody suspected of having COVID-19 or who actually has it, encourage them to use tissues and dispose of them correctly to avoid indirect contamination. If you're caring for someone, you should always use the correct protection, including a mask, and always clean your hands correctly and often. Protective equipment should be used and disposed of correctly and surfaces cleaned using suitable wipes or chemicals to kill the virus. This is Dr. Dan Lee Dimke. The novel Wuhan coronavirus, now known as SARS-CoV-2, and the disease it causes, COVID-19, have been declared a global health emergency by the World Health Organization, wreaking havoc on lives and economies around the world. But this virus has an Achilles heel, an exploitable vulnerability that is shared by most upper respiratory viruses and all other known coronaviruses. They are remarkably fragile. Though they can survive easily for weeks or even months at temperatures near or below freezing, these viruses die within just a few minutes when exposed to higher air temperatures. Their aversion to heat forces coronaviruses to live and reproduce only within the coolest parts of the body, usually inside the epithelial cells that line our inner nose and sinus cavities.